There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And that is the Bethesda Softworks logo. And this is Wayne Gretzky Hockey 3. Another hockey game. I played one recently and it was disappointing. And uh, I have honestly no idea how to play this. Absolutely none whatsoever. I uh, tried to find a manual. And I could not find a manual. I tried to look up the controls of the previous game in the series. And was somewhat stymied there as well. So this is Wayne Gretzky Hockey 3. It's a hockey simulator. And it doesn't really play like all the other hockey games. This was before Bethesda really made their name, and it's worth pointing out right from the get-go, this beautiful, beautiful theme played through a uh, general user I think I'm using at the minute. Wonderful, wonderful theme I'm talking over the top of. Listen to that. Oh, glorious. So, you have adjustable time limits. Oh, that was weird. Did you see that? I changed the time and... Uh, they sped up there, randomly. Ah, can't seem to recreate it. So that's the uh, the amount of time you have in the match. The speed that the game actually operates at. Then over here, you can change your referee. So you can have a standard referee, a blind referee, a somewhat incompetent referee, or a ref who will call absolutely everything. Oh, the music doesn't loop around. That's disappointing. But it's not the only disappointing thing. Ha. Uh, you have various options that you can select here. You know, whether you want fights and timeouts and referees and time and so on and so forth. And uh, this is the important button here. Because there's the top-down style sensible world of soccer view. And there's the... Uh, sort of behind-the-shoulder third-person view, which is quite nice to look at. So, we also have the ability to change the home and visitor locker rooms. Let's just enter a random code. Oh, it was correct. Amazing. There's uh, instant replay files and stuff, and uh, all kinds of options here that you can change. So, uh, I could look at all this, you know, and look at instant replays, coaching clipboard, play editor, you know, color selection and so on and so forth. But let's face it, I don't know enough about hockey to really make a determination about all this. So instead, what I'm going to do is I showcase, uh, you know, the basics. It's like, look, all this stuff is here. And let's just have a look at the in-game engine, shall we? All right, some funky organ music, because that's what you need at the start of a hockey game. So according to what little I could gleam from the manual, uh, you can see the sort of overhead behind the shoulder thing going on here. Uh, you control a single player who has a uh, white helmet. You can see him there. Uh, yeah, he committed a file there. Yep, good old icing, smashing it against the back, behind the goal, and, uh, yeah. So, you see me in the middle there, contesting this ball. And I'm controlling using the mouse here. I don't know if you can switch player or anything, I think you're just in control of one person. And there I am, in the, in the thick of it, trying to be annoying. And succeeding, because it's what I do best. And you can either demand the ball from your players, the ball, the puck, you know what I mean. Also, I'd like to point out there's a Duff Beer advertisement on the board in the back there. That's cool. So let's contest this. Uh, that was really poor. And I believe the players around you. Ah, right. Interesting. 
So, I was technically the goalie there, I think. So, I control one player and I demand the passes or something. The problem that I've found with this is there's no, there's no manual and I've looked for controls and I couldn't find them. I had to go to the Wayne Gretzky Hockey 2 uh, control scheme. Oh, listen to that. Nice. And it's a critique that I have of a lot of American sports in general, rather than just, you know, uh, the game. The sheer baffling number of stoppages in play that these games have. I know now is not the time to uh, you know, <laughs> tell my American audience, American games suck, man! Ah, uh, oh, look, I got it down the other end. Awesome. But yeah, compared to NHL 94, this is nothing special. I'll give kudos to the uh, sound. You know, the ice skating sounds and uh, all that are nice. But this is one of the issues here. Capital penalty number 34. Two minutes for holding. Yes. There's significant amounts of delay and pauses and going to other screens and so on in the middle of play. And it just breaks everything up. And the other hockey games that I've played don't have that degree of uh, constant, you know, pausing and stuff. See what I did there? Inadvertently. I was in the middle of a sentence and I paused. So that's Wayne Gretzky hockey. I know I've only sort of scratched the surface and there's significant options in the background, you know, for uh, hockey enthusiasts to appreciate, you know, rosters and lineups and all kinds of things. But the actual in-game and the controlling and stuff just doesn't jive with me. And that's unfortunate. I think in this era of hockey simulations, it's a case of, is this NHL 94? No. Then it's one of those other hockey games. NHL 94 was just so dominant and so superior to pretty much everything else around that in hindsight, when anybody looks back at 90s hockey games, it's like, that's the go-to game and there's very little else on the scene to compete with it. So it's another case of a game with nice presentation and a license which just falls short in the gameplay department and because of that EA continued their stranglehold upon the American sports market. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel and if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. And if you appreciate me despite my bad-mouthing American sports, you might be one of my patrons. Look at those wonderful names. They could take to the ice and score past me with a puck any day. Until next time.